Alrighty, class. Let's do some math. Today we're looking at number sense, grade seven, lesson 22. It's a review of fractions again. It's fractions of whole numbers. This is on page 79 and 80 in your jump math book. So what are we doing? We're looking what does what is a fraction? What does it mean? Well, a fraction just simply means we're comparing wholes and parts. Now remember, it's really a, just a different way of looking at dividing, which is going to come in really important later. So if I said one half of six, what does that mean? It means if I have six objects, I want to divide them into two groups. Right? Two groups, how many are in each group? That's really what that's really what fractions are. What's half of two, half of six? If we have put two groups, we have three. Doesn't that remind us of when we did just simple division? Six divided by two equals three. Right? Six divided by two equals three. What is what's half of six half of six? It's three. Remember, fractions it are really this just a complicated with different form of division. That's all it is. So if we are looking at half of four, if we drew, I'm gonna switch colors here. I think the green is too light. Let's try orange. One, two, three, four. Okay, we have four, we have four dots. Let's make them into two groups. How much is half of four? It's two. How about 10? Let's make 10 dots. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. How many groups do we want? We want two groups. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. What is half of 10? It's 5, right? That's the visual way. And I know all of you know this. The slightly harder way, which most of you still know, is 10 divided by 2. Another way to look at this is 10 times 1 divided by 2. In, in algebra, we can, we can make the dividing sign a line like that, which, wait a second, is the same as a line in a fraction. So it's 10 times 1 divided by 2. What's 10 times 1? 10. Divided by 2, 5. Let's do 18. Totally just with numbers. 18 times 1 divided by 2. Notice I'm doing the same thing. I'm just writing it slightly different. 18 times 1 is 18. Divided by 2 is 9. Okay? We could do with, with the numbers, but I'm sure you understand this already. 2 thirds of 9. This is slightly harder. Again, we could draw the dots. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Let's put in the groups of three. Oh, what are two of those groups? It'd be six, right? Two thirds of nine is six. Let's do this the arithmetic way. Nine times two divided by three. What's 9 times 2? Well, that's 18 divided by 3 is 18 divided by 3 is 6. Oh, it's the same number, whether we do this with a picture or arithmetically. This is the, uh, the elementary way of doing it. This is the high school way of doing it. If you still need to use, it, use this, that's fine. But we're trying to get to the arithmetic way of doing it. Let's do three-fifths of 10, just arithmetically. That's 10 times 3 divided by 5. 10 times 3 is 30 divided by 5 is 6. Oh, look. Three-fifths of 10 is 6. So far, so good. One note, remember with ped math, it doesn't matter whether you do the adding, uh, sorry, the multiplying or the division first. 
we could do 10 divided by 3 times 5. 10, di 10 divided by 5 is 2 times 3 is 6. It gives us the same answer whether we're multiplying by the 3 first or divided by the 3 first. Got to be honest, if you can see how to switch that out immediately, your work becomes way easier. So short, quicker is usually easier. So sometimes you can't do the dividing first. You have to do the multiplying first. But either way. Okay. Hardest part, work problems. Callie's age is half of Ron's age. Ron's age is 12. So how old is Callie? One half of 12 equals... Tell me I'm looking at... What is 12 divided by 2? It's 6. Kelly's age is half of Ron's age. Kelly's age is 6, which is half of 12. Yes, we got it right. Last and hardest question. There are 8 shapes. What fraction is 4? Something of, four, of 8 equals 4. 8 divided by 4 is 2. So that is 1 half. Logically, we know that. One half of eight equals four. Okay? With this, I know that you're going to be able to finish off your math. Have a great day. Hand in your work. Take pictures of it. I don't care how you send me your work. For those of you who are watching who are, up my, who are not my class, have yourself a great day. I hope you learned a little, a little something. Bye now.